The X-37 ascends to low Earth orbit inside the cargo bay of the space shuttle. The shuttle's remote manipulator system, or RMS, will raise and connect to the grapple fixture on the X-37. The trunnion clamps on the X-37 and payload cradle will release to free the spacecraft. The RMS will lift the X-37 from the cargo bay and maneuver it to the release position. The shuttle RMS will release the X-37 and move away. With the shuttle a safe distance away, the X-37 will open its bay doors and deploy its solar arrays. The hydrogen peroxide jet propellant fueled AR2-3 engine will fire to propel the X-37 toward the mission target. Rendezvous targets may include satellites and other spacecraft. Hydrogen peroxide monopropellant thrusters will maintain attitude control and maneuver the X-37 during its mission. The X-37 will autonomously navigate within 10 meters of its target. The payload and experiment bay can carry up to 500 pounds in addition to the solar arrays. Velocities up to Mach 25 during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere will test thermal protection systems. The X-37 incorporates flaperons on the wing, a V-tail with all moving rudder vaders, and a body flap for aerodynamic control for the autonomous landing. The objective of the X-37 is to demonstrate new technologies that will reduce the cost of access to space. It will provide a platform for flight experiments testing Earth to orbit, on orbit, and re-entry technologies. It serves as a major step along the way toward paving the highway to space.